how to recreate movie scenes with Higgsfield Wand 2.5. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys exactly how you can recreate popular movie scenes from movies and you can recreate them via an AI tool called Wand 2.5. Now we're going to be using Wand 2.5 within Higgsfield and Higgsfield is an AI tool which allows you to access multiple different AI models including things like Nano Banana, Seed Dream and many more. So let's jump right in. To get started on Higgsfield, simply head on over into Higgsfield AI. Once you sign up on Higgsfield AI, you're going to go ahead and sign on by your email address. I have signed up with my Gmail account. You can sign up with your email, Gmail, Microsoft, or Facebook. Then once you do that, you're going to simply click on video and then click on Wand 2.5 under the drop down menu on the bottom right. Once you select Wand 2.5, this is what your space is going to look like. On the center, you're going to find a preview of what you create. On the left, you have your one 2.5 model selected. You can click on change to change this model, but currently one 2.5 only has one model. Then below that, you have the optional category of adding a reference image. Then you can add the prompt. Then you select the model where you have two variations of one 2.5 and one 2.5 fast. Then below that, you choose the duration resolution where you can switch between 1080 or 720p then you choose your aspect ratio and then you can proceed now how can you create a iconic movie scene let's say i have this iconic scene from titanic where leonardo and kate winslet are standing on the deck and they are looking at the sea so I'm going to save this image and I'm just going to save it as it is. Then I'm going to go into ChatGPT and I'm going to ask it to create a description or a prompt to create the iconic movie scene of Titanic movie where Rose is standing on the deck and she opens her arms. And what I'm going to do with ChatGPT is that I'm basically telling it to define the particular scene that I want to recreate. What this does is that get, this gives me the exact prompt for the scene, which I enter here. Then what I do is that I customize it. So recreate the iconic Titanic movie scene on the ship's deck at sunset where a young woman with flowing red hair. So let's say I want to replace this where a young woman with long black hair stands at the bow of the ship she spreads her arms wide open eyes closed feeling the wind as if she's flying the ocean glistens with the golden orange light of the sunset the ship's deck railing at the grandeur of the titanic are visible cinematic okay so i'm gonna remove this a cinematic romantic timeless atmosphere and also include jack i'm pretty sure it was jack yeah so i'm gonna change this and then I'm gonna go back into one 2.5. Now, rose with red hair. So I'm gonna change that with glowing black hair. A young man with a muscular body. Gently hold her waist, gazing at her with admiration. Distance. I'm gonna remove this. And now, once I have entered my prompt in detail, I'm going to open up the reference image and I'm going to be uploading my reference image. Now, this is a bit too small, so I'm going to open up another image. I'm going to open this image in a new tab. I'm going to save this image just like so. And then I'm going to go into one 2.5 and then we're just going to select the image once more. Okay, again, this is a bit too small for some reason. Open image in new tab. And I'm just going to go back into one to see if this is downloadable. I need a JPEG version. Okay, so we need a JPEG version of this image. Hopefully this is saved as our JPEG. Yeah, we need a PNG. And right now our image is being uploaded. Once our image upload has been completed, we're going to choose our resolution, duration, and then I'm just going to click on generate. And right now it is going to generate my video. Now, in the meanwhile, while it is recreating our iconic movie scene, I'm going to show you guys one of the other videos I've created. So I created this woman talking into the camera with a Spanish English accent, and she's talking about how much she loves makeup. And this is a completely AI generated video. You would not know that this was an AI generated person if you had 
had seen this regularly while you were scrolling. Now, this is a really power-packed tool. Hicksfield simplifies a lot of your AI creation and it does come at a price. So Hicksfield has a few different plans available, including their basic, pro, ultimate, and creator. Their basic plan starts at $9 a month, which includes 150 credits. Then their Pro is $29 a month, which includes Seed Dream 4.0, which is the AI video generator tool provided by ByteDance, and this is the parent company behind TikTok as well. You have Nano Banana, where you have a one-year offer where you have unlimited image generation with Nano Banana. You also have Google VO3, where you can get Google VO3 and VO3 Fast with a 75% discount. You have Starting and End Frame Controls, Hicksfield Analytics, and lip syncing studio. So their pro plan is super value packed. Then you have their ultimate at $49 a month, which includes 1200 credits for concurrent generations, as well as other features like Kling 2.1, Minimax Halio, Seed Dance, and their UGC factory. And on the creator, you have a 15% discount on extra credits with five creative boards and more. So it definitely is a tool that is packed with multiple different features and it provides you with a lot of value. And I do think that if you're serious about creating creating movie scenes or any type of AI generated content, using Hicksfield can simplify that for only $29. I don't think that the basic plan provides you with as much value as the Pro, so if you are going to pick, I recommend the Pro. And you can always get a 40% discount if you're opting for annual billing. So you would only have to pay $17.04 for the Pro, and on the Ultimate you're only paying $29.04. So now I'm going to show you guys the final result once this has been generated. So now our video has been created and this is what our video looks like. And we're just going to play this. This has used the reference image. You guys can see it is panning out. And this is what we have created and we've recreated this iconic scene from the Titanic. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you found them helpful, make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these. Share them with your friends, with your family, with your cousins, and share them with any business partners that you might have. And it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video